My name is Giridhar Rao. I'm with the School of Education in Azim Premji University, Bengaluru. Uh, I teach courses on language policy, language and education, multilingual education, Esperanto, science fiction. My doctoral work was on science fiction uh, and that, that study of uh, utopian societies uh, led me to another utopian idea, that of the planned language uh, Esperanto. That brought together my interest in languages generally in, multiling in multilingual India. Uh, and I found in Azim Premji University a chance to explore my interest in multilingualism and in intercultural communication through, through Esperanto. The research is, uh, has to do with uh, thinking about the role of English in India and how um, in a multilingual democracy like ours, the language classroom too should be multilingual in nature and how to go about making that so. Largely our thinking about language pedagogy, language teaching, uh, has, the theories for those have come from monolingual cultures and uh, they need to be rethought for a multilingual democracy like ours. Since the university has a policy of deliberate diversity, uh, there is a lot of diversity of languages in my classrooms as well. So in a typical class of 30, there might be as many as 25 languages. Each student comes with their own history of uh, languages and interests. And uh, when they bring that into teaching of language, um, an interesting um, transformation of pedagogy happens. It's no longer a monolingual uh, situation, monolingual pedagogy. We are no longer asking the students, uh, the learners, please leave your languages outside the classroom because this is an English classroom. No, we are not doing that. We are saying, bring your languages in. We'll use them. We'll, we'll see how those can enhance your language learning. I see teaching as a process of sowing a seed. There may be short-term results, there may be short-term gains such as learning to write and make an argument and so on, but there are, I think, there is, I think, a longer-term project, a longer-term idea of um, ideas taking time to mature and uh, be, having to be adapted for their own context wherever they are a decade from now. I think that, that is a vision of teaching that I uh, cherish.